In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the primary market on your Shopify store in 2025. If you've been looking to adjust your store to better align with your target audience or expand your business reach, altering your primary market is a critical step. Let's dive in and take you through the process from start to finish. Begin by navigating to your Shopify store's admin homepage. You can do this by logging into your Shopify account through your preferred web browser. Once you've landed on your store's main dashboard, you're ready to move forward. Next, look towards the bottom left corner of the page and click on Settings. This will lead you to a screen filled with various options related to your store's setup and configuration. Don't worry if it looks a bit overwhelming, we're going to focus on just what we need for changing your market settings. Within the settings menu you'll see an option labelled Markets. Go ahead and click on that. This section of Shopify allows you to manage the various markets where your store is available. It's essential for reaching out to different geographical regions or adjusting your focus to align with business strategies. Now that you're in the market section, you'll want to click on add market. This is crucial because in Shopify, you create new markets to specify where you sell your products outside your current primary market. A dialog box will open up for you to enter details about the new market you want to create. To keep things organized, start by naming your new market. This could be a specific region, country, or if you're planning on switching the focus to say international sales, a designation that makes sense for your strategy. Right after naming your market, you'll choose the country or region that this market will target. This is an essential step because it determines the currency, language options, and other localized settings for customers in that market. With your new market named and the region selected, revisit the add market button and click it again to finalize this addition. It's important to double check all settings to ensure everything is correctly configured to avoid complications later. After setting up your new market, look for the more actions button. It usually appears as a drop down on the same page. By clicking here, you'll see an option to make primary market. Select this option and the market you've just set up will become your Shopify store's new primary market. This final step is what officially changes the focus of your store to your chosen market, ensuring that all store settings are now aligned with this focus. That's it, you've successfully changed your primary market on Shopify. I hope you found this guide helpful and remember using the right market settings can significantly enhance your online store's performance by making sure you reach the right audience. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to check out our other videos for more Shopify tips and tricks.